The medical legal lab has over 100 employees. And all their records are being looked at, including yours and mine. Well, you're just having coffee, don't you want pie? I'm fine. But you always have pie. Can we stop talking about pie? Is it because of what Sweet said? I'm just going pieless, okay? <sighs> Can we talk for a minute? I have a profile of someone I feel could be Gormagon. No pie? You always eat pie. Enough with the pie. Will you just sit down? All right. Whoa, you've been spying on us? More experiments? What experiments? I'm just being thorough. The dynamics of our work environment play a role in how I treat you and Agent Booth. Okay, so wait, should we just get on with it? Who is it? I believe it's Dr. Hodgins. What is Dr. Hodgins? Gormagon. He thinks Hodgins is Gormagon. Hodgins exhibits clinical paranoia as well as a rationalized feeling of superiority. Paranoia? Yeah, he's consumed by numerous conspiracy theories. In my observations today, He's even suspect of the FBI, with whom he works closely. Uh, it's all supposition. There's no concrete evidence. Mm -hmm. Go on. Booth. What? Hodges knew all about the secret societies. I mean, he figured out the patterns Gormagon used that led us to the vault. Yes, he was doing his job. Or justifying himself. He had access to all the chemicals Zach was using. He could have changed the labels. Me and Zach are friends. I also had access to the chemicals Zach made. Why am I not a suspect? Well, you have a reverence for life that belies the cold calculations of a killer and the emotional connection you share with Agent Booth. No, I, I don't have time for this, no. Okay. But you know by now you can't rush her. We're trying to catch a killer. I thought it best not to waste time. <sighs> Dr. Hodgins knocking would be appreciated. Right. Sorry. So rumor is one of us is a suspect. Who is it? I can't say you know that. Of course not. And since it's rumor, it might not even be true, right? Do you have a legitimate reason to see me or are you just here to squeeze me for information? I found something. Zach said he thought the mandible had been boiled. To remove tissue. I pulled trace elements from the mandible and ran them through the mass spectrometer to see what the bone was boiled in. It was tap water. But, see this spike here? Lead? Yes. I thought the city had to replace all their lead pipes. They did, but individual homeowners didn't. I focused on neighborhoods with the highest lead levels. Older homes are the worst offenders. This neighborhood matches the level of lead found on the victim's bone. Isn't that your house? Yes. It is. But there are other people that live in the area, too. Yeah, of course. Too. I'll pass this along to the investigators. Good. Is there anything else? I could have fudged the facts. I could have left my neighborhood out. Yes, but that would have raised suspicion if someone had double-checked your results. If you need me, I'll be at my station. Helping. 